Number 47, Gerald has some money in a jar. He says that he has at least $20. At least 20 means he knows he has $20 or more. So that's a little tricky with the at least. That means 20 or more he has. He has at most 30. No more than 30 in the jar. Let X represent the amount of money in the jar. Write a compound inequality. Inequalities are less than, greater than, equals any of those. Which is the one I'm missing? The greater than. To represent the amount of money in the jar. The smaller number is 20. The larger of the two numbers is 30. The amount he has in the jar is between those two numbers. At most 30 means it could be 30. At least 20 means he could possibly have 20. So the amount of money he has is somewhere between 20 and 30. That's a compound inequality. It has three parts to it.